What's up guys? I'm back on Atlas. I'm on my transport galleon Njords, mate. And I love this ship. It's grown on me. I didn't I wasn't that sure on it at first, but I love the colour scheme on it. I've always liked the colour scheme on it. It's from one of my other ships. Um and yeah, this is my transport ship. This is what I use for transport and everything. When I ever want to carry a lot of stuff somewhere, I jump on this and do it. Um, I think we've got three. We've got three galleons and all, and they're all kind of designed to be transport galleons. At least mine and Rad Dude is definitely transport galleons now. And uh, yeah, it's a great ship to have around. Um, the galleon I'm a bit disappointed in. This originally was going to be like a multi-role galleon. Not like my brig, which if you've seen that, I'll put a link at the end of the video if you haven't. Um, a multi-role brig is a battle brig. It's designed for being able to farm gold in multiple ways. Um, whether that's diving, farming ships of the damned, or whale hunting. Um, it, it's like you can go treasure hunting with it because you can get your bear on there and some maps and go off and do that. It's it's a multi-role battle brick. That's what it was. Uh, this originally I wanted it to be um, have cannons on it and be able to engage ships of the damned if I needed to, uh, and then just be like a houseboat. I suppose I just wanted an all-round ship that I'd use most of the time. The build limit on this game is not great for the galleon. I mean, look how big it is. That doesn't do it justice for how big the galleon is. Even if you go to your first person view, um, obviously you can see how long the ship is, but it don't really do it that just the justice it deserves. It's, it's a very big ship. And uh, the build limit is super low for the size of it, in my opinion. If you want to, you can't really be that creative with them, as uh, from what I've noticed. That sounded like, oh, it was uh, me getting shot. Fuck, I thought it was a whale. <laughs> for the size of it, you can't be that creative with it. This, in particular, I've got two decks and a half deck. The half deck being the one I'm stood on here, which is where the steering wheel is, and then I've got that deck down there, and there's one below it, and. If you put all six on, because you can put six on here, and then you fill in the gaps that it leaves, you run out. Of, you run out of pieces. Like you can't. You can't fill it all in and then like be creative. So you have to like leave it open. You have to be like uh, conservative with what you're building. And I don't like that. I want to be able to make it look like a full galleon. I want to have a galleon. I want to have um, a, a sleeping quarters, and I want to have the the um, areas where the cannons are like set out in a nice way and do you know what I mean you can't do that kind of thing or at least I haven't found a way of doing it yet I, I put six decks in I filled in the holes and then I hit my build limit and I was like what the fuck it's crazy it's so crazy so um yeah a bit disappointed on that front but it is epic look at it that is an epic ship um on the front now I don't know if I can I don't know if I can reach it go on go on go on almost the the figureheads the pegasus figurehead and i really love that figurehead it's probably my favorite one i've had so far i think it's 800 gold at a um freeport if you're interested um yeah but this ship grew on me so like i said i couldn't do what i wanted to do so i turned it into a cargo ship and even when i'd done that i tried to be creative with it and have like cargo areas and stuff like that and i ran out of peace again so in the end i fought bollocks to it I ripped out all the decks. I've only got, like I said, this half deck, that deck, and the one below it. I'll show you when we go downstairs. And then I've just got uh, four cargo racks down here. And obviously I've had to build the little... Um, oh, I'm falling down the stairs. Uh, I've had to build these little platforms to obviously reach it. You, you These clip on whether this platforms are or not, okay? So you don't have to have this. I built this for my own personal preference. I wanted to be able to walk up the stairs and access it. Um... It's got a weight limit of 1,600, and everything you put in there is at a reduced weight. So you can get quite a lot in there. That's like a mixed box there. Um, normally, I'd have like a box of metal, box of wood, box of thatch, box of whatever. Um, but in this particular case, I was coming back from G8, um, and I'm going up to N1. And so I stopped at L6 to get uh, some wooden thatch, and I thought might as well grab some metal. And I bought some stone up from G8. The only reason I've done that is because I didn't want to come back empty. Um, I took a load of stock down to G8 for our shop that's in G8. Oh my god, I can't press the right buttons. <laughs> um, yeah, I took a load of stock down to G8 for our shop that we've got there. I'll show you that in another video. Um, 
And then I was coming back empty. I didn't want to come back up to the north empty, so I stopped, like I said, and filled up the cargo boxes. And, uh, yeah, that's the idea of the ship. It just continuously goes around when I need it to, and I try and keep it full to wherever I'm going. And you can see there's some more stuff. That's 1,600. Well, it's 1,500 weight in there out of 1,600. And, again, like I said, it reduces the weight. And then underneath, and these are all identical. Look, like you can see they've all got these little platforms underneath the racks. And under each uh, platform, there's a cargo box. Oh, it's loading into a new area. So, yeah, I've got these uh, storage boxes under each platform. That's just if I really want to go balls to the wall and load this thing right up, and I've got some extra room. Obviously, like I said, you, I just showed you the limits of the 1600 weight uh, for the cargo racks. So, then you could, uh, if you wanted to, like I said, use the storage boxes for additional storage. Um, I haven't done that yet because I haven't had the need to, but it's there if I want it. Also, with the cargo racks, for each one you have, I believe this is right. I'll put some text on the screen somewhere here if I'm wrong. Um, but I believe it's 20% speed reduction per cargo rack. Whoa! Hang on a minute. I ballsed up completely. I wasn't even close to 20% um, reduction on speed on the cargo racks. I was just at it in the video and I thought I'd look it up quick because, you know, I don't want to put out misinformation kind of thing so i've looked at it quick and it's actually for the galleon for six racks it's uh two to three percent per rack so actually six racks wouldn't be that bad um but i'm still gonna stay with my four racks because uh, like i said in the video it didn't really affect me and i get more than enough done with the four racks but yeah if, as you can see on the uh web page here which is atlas gamerpedia if you don't know about this website it's your best friend when it comes to uh, knowledge of the game for Atlas, for looking at whatever you want, whether it's something about an animal or something about a ship or anything about the game, anything you can imagine, you go on to Atlas Wiki or just type in Google Atlas Wiki Galleon and it will take you to the, the Galleon page for the on Atlas Gamerpedia, basically. Super handy website. But yeah, like I said, I got the information wrong. It's not 20%. It's 20% per rack on, on a schooner. Um, it's ten percent on the brig, but on the galleon, it's two to three percent per rack. So yeah, up to you what you do with it. Complete personal preference. I like four. I'm going to stick with four, but six wouldn't be that bad. Looking at this information, so um, do what you want with that. Anyway, back to the video. This ship in particular, because I've got six handling sails, which, which I'll go into um, in a little while as to why I've done that. Um, obviously isn't the quickest right now which is why i like the handling sails i'm going against the wind and i'm doing like between seven and eight knots most of the time obviously right now i've dropped down below seven uh, but i was doing between seven and eight earlier um, and that's with the wind against me we'll go into all that later anyway um so yeah if i had another two storage racks on it another two cargo racks sorry with being extra like 40 percent i believe um we don't want all that reduction so um, the other two spaces are filled up with a ship hanger and a diving rig. Uh, diving rig, just in case um, I'm running out of gold and I'm out at sea, I need to get a couple of gold to pay my uh, wages for my crew. I've got the option of doing that because it's quite a easy little gold haul if you only need a little amount. And the dinghy, just because the galleon's so big, it can't really get up close to islands. If I need to uh, moor up at an island, I can more up as close as I can and jump in a dinghy to get ashore if I want to instead of swimming. Um, that's literally the only reason. And the other reason being, I don't like having it <laughs> out of, uh, what's the word? don't like it not being symmetrical. I wouldn't want just one diving rack on one side. So I've decided instead of having two diving racks, to have a dinghy rack. Uh, that is literally it, just a personal preference. Um, this is the captain's quarters. Again, it's very basic. I've only done this because otherwise I've just got a box on the back of my ship doing nothing. I've just got a bed here in case I die to get right to the steering wheel really quickly. A little storage box with some armour and little bits and pieces in. Uh, and that's it. Nice and simple. I wish I could do more, but like I said, the... Um, Build limit on the galleon is ridiculously low. And obviously now, being a transport ship, I'm trying to keep everything low weight as possible. So um, putting as little as possible as I can on here. Uh, yeah, just down here, it's just an empty area. I wish I could do something with it, but like I said, build limit and all that. And then down below is the like living area or like um, a personal area, basically. 
got another penguin down here for when it gets cold. And obviously we've got some fur armor at the top there that we just see in the uh, captain's quarters. We've got my resource box, obviously, with um, my minimum amount of resources and some gold. And the reason I say minimum is because... I might have said this before, the resource box increases weight of stuff. So whatever you put in there has increased weight. So you only want to put in what you need for repairs and everything else you want to keep somewhere else, either in your smithy or in another storage box or something. Um, so, yeah, that's that. I've got a couple of Morton pestles just in case. You know, they don't weigh anything really, so just have them on there in case I need them. A tannery because if I decide to go and tame anything and I use this to transport animals or whatever... I can make bowlers and saddles on the boat, and it weighs like 12 kilos, so it's nothing much. A couple of storage boxes, one for just paints and planks. Um, the paints are in there just because I haven't moved them, but it's really just for planks and stuff like that. And then in here I've got some tools and stuff, a couple of buckets. Always have your buckets. Always have your buckets. Um, you never know when you might start sinking and you don't have your planks, you'll be glad to have a bucket on board. So make sure you've got a couple of buckets. Obviously got a cooking pot just for cooking stuff and a bookshelf for uh, storing stuff. And I'm transferring some blueprints at the moment, which I know some greys and I need to sort them out. I just quickly emptied a storage box at L6 and put them in here to take up north of me. And then just got another bed down here. And that is it, nice and simple. I really, really like this big open area. And I stole this from Rad Dude. He started doing this when he built his galley and having these big open decks. And I really like it. It's nice and roomy. And uh, it looks pretty cool. These bits I've left in from my original layout. Um, because, like I said, I was trying to build like a little bit of a house ship. And uh, I just left them in because they look kind of cool. But I need to take them out really to save weight. But I've not had a weight issue at the moment. So I I've not got around to taking them out. Um, so yeah, they don't really serve a purpose. And then down here, it's all empty. No extra deck. Uh, this is just for uh, getting in to repair the lower planks if I need to. Um, got the feeding trough and the preserving, or the food ladder, sorry, centralised on the ship to cover the entire ship. So I haven't got to worry about having to have another set of them. Originally, on the original builder done on this ship, I had my larder at the back, and it wasn't reaching the front two sails. So the front two crew members weren't getting fed and they were obviously starving. So I had to move that. Um, well, originally I just had another one at the front, but obviously we've gone for the transport now. So for the sake of saving weight, I've just moved them into the centre to give, like I said, give coverage of the entire ship. That is it uh, as far as the building goes. Obviously I said earlier about the uh, handling sails. Now I've got the handling sails to give me more options because... I don't want to have to wait for wind directions and stuff like that. If I want to go and carry stuff, I just want to go and do it. And it um, might take me a bit longer, but whatever. Normally, I'd just stick on some uh, something to watch. I've been watching Amazon Prime. I've been watching uh, The Expanse, if you're interested. Absolutely love that program. I just found out about it. I know I'm a bit behind, but just binge watch all of that. Um, and, you know, you can do stuff like that while you're sailing. So I ain't bothered if it takes me a little longer. Originally, my first run I'd done from N1 to G8, which I'll show you on the map just quickly. So from N1 at the top there, down to G8, down to the bottom left. Well, it's not the bottom left. It's like the cent like the centre of the map. That took me three hours. <laughs> um, Rad Dude's done it with a, a, another transport gallon. He's put six speed sails on. He waited for the wind directions, perfect conditions, timed it all out and learnt about wind mechanics and went at the perfect time. He'd done it in around an hour, so you save a lot of time if you do that. But, when you think about it, you had to wait for the wind conditions to change. Um, so, you know, how long you got to sit and wait? I think it's about 45 minutes for a full circle um, of the wind direction, obviously, from north to south, you know, north, back to north or whatever. So I think it takes like 45 minutes or something like that. Um, I don't fully understand it. When I do fully understand the wind mechanics, I'll make a video and try and simplify it best I can because I struggled to get my head around it at the start. I've still not fully got my head around it, but Rad Dude understands it quite well. Um, so I'm going to actually change my sails to speed sails because I don't do that much haulage right now, so I ain't that concerned if I have to wait. I'll load up and wait for the wind. But originally, when I built this, I was in a hurry. We was moving everything up north from L6. I just wanted to get on with it. So I got the handling sails to give me the options of, like I was earlier, I'm not right now, but earlier I was um, sailing against the wind. And uh, now I've got the wind behind me. 
So that's why I've got handling sails. Obviously, the other thing, the galleon. How can I explain? If the galleon had a rating of zero to ten for handling, it's got a 0 0.1. It's awful. <laughs> the handling is awful. It's a gigantic ship. It turns. It takes miles to turn around. With the handling sails, that's reduced a lot. It handles quite well for the size of it, and um, I like the handling. So. Yeah, the, the handling sails are the way forward for me. That is my transport galleon. Yours might. Hope you like the look of it. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer it. And if you've got anything you think I could have done better with this ship, then let me know. If you've got um, a better design you like to do with a galleon, if you've got a way you can... I'm actually really interested, if if you're playing on official, remember, I don't care about unofficial because you can ramp up all the building stuff, unofficial, if you're playing on official and um, you've got a galleon that you use for other stuff other than haulage, then I'd be interested in seeing what build you're using because, like I said, I can't get my head around it, it seems a bit weird that the build limit's so low. So yeah, if you've got any suggestions, feel free to leave that in the comments below, and I'll check them out. And um, yeah, hope you like it. Hope maybe you can take some ideas from it. Like I said, this is nice and simple. It's really easy to build. Like I said, I've only got two and a half decks, six sails, your personal preference. I'm upgrading these to speed sails, like I said. Um, four cargo racks, because I don't want the six to completely nerf the speed of the boat. That is it. Nice and simple, really easy to build, looks great, um, and yeah. Let me know what you think below. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.